Hey YouTube, today we're going to be putting a Magic Memory Stick and Pandora battery to, for use to install a custom firmware on this PSP Slim here. This is a 2000 and keep in mind that you cannot yet hack a PSP 3000 or the Bright as it's called. Now to prove that we're on the original firmware, let's check it out real quick. System information, version 4.05. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to get on our computer here. First of all, you're going to have two files that I'll have in the video description. We'll have PSP Grader and PSP 5.0 firmware, the official stuff. We're going to we're going to want to extract the uh, the or the official firmware. We'll just put her on the desktop. get our eboot here this is the official firmware and then we're going to want to go up in the PSP grader and run that application now this is a very 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 simple application all you simply do is click load 5.00 official which is the file we just extracted earlier and then you go on your PSP here and just put her in USB mode Hear that confirmation sound. And it automatically finds it, and you'll want to format the memory stick as well. Make sure you back up your memory stick so you don't lose any saved data. And then we simply, keep in mind, select trigger button, left trigger. We'll have create the memory stick, starting format. It's a very simple process. doesn't really take that long at all. Let's skip ahead here real quick. Now we are finished, we'll just click close, and now we have our magic memory stick. Next step is to create the Pandora battery. Alright, now here I have my PSP battery that I'll be using for Pandora battery. The magic memory stick that we just made. A PSP with that's already customized, the battery. Yeah. And the PSP Slim that we are going to customize here, little hagen no battery inserted because we're going to be using the Pandora battery. Now, put this battery back in this damn PSP. Now what you were going to do with the PSP, the, the hacked PSP, with the magic memory stick we made inside of it, we're going to want to connect to USB mode. Yeah, yeah, I took out the battery, set the date. I gotta pull it up manually. It's not popping up anymore. Where are we? Alright, this is our memory stick. Now, I have a file here that I'm linking in the video description called OSPPT 0.6.zip. You're gonna wanna open that up. We got it in WinRAR here. Now, you're going to want to put 0SPBT underscore 060 in your PSP slash game folder. You just simply drag that in there. And now you're ready to Pandorize, as I like to call, the battery. Alright, back on the PSP here. We can get the C here. To help. Now we're going to go under games because that's where we put this and as you'll see this is what we just put on there it's pretty weird art if you ask me start it up alright now pay attention this is really important here it'll say open source Pandora's battery tool 0 0.6 a bunch of stuff warning use at your own risk Press X to continue or 0 to quit or O. Oh, whoops. We want to continue here. Now we have some options. So this program is an adaptation of Chili Willy and Mims Code. Nobody cares. Now we can convert to service mode. You want to back up, very, very important, back up the battery EEPROM. 
and it backs it up to the memory sticks root and to you have to do this in order to re to reuse this battery for later purposes later we back after we backed up we will want to convert to service mode mode or aka pandora's battery which is the second option and success press x to continue now we can quit and right, i don't know if it's going to boot up or not once we turn it off it is not going to work anymore so to speak turn this off she's off okay now you're going to want to take out your magic memory stick and the battery from your hack PSP and now follow directions closely take your slimline non hack PSP put the memory stick magic memory stick in there place your battery in now it's very important that you don't let this battery come out you must hold L and we come up with this nice little screen looks like your firmware right you must hold L while you uh, put the battery in to get the uh, to get the magic memory stick to boot up. Remember the thing we had to select was left trigger. And what we are going to do is install 5.00 M33. Let's click on that, and it's uh, do not by any means do not let the battery come out or you could you could break this thing and me I'm having to hold it in there because it'll fall out because this is a fat battery I don't know if you can do it with slim batteries honestly but we're just gonna let that go let's skip ahead here real quick alright we are almost done restoring the registry right now and you know it's really blurry because this camera's kinda gay a shutdown or reboot will be required press circle to shut it down and we are all shut down Get that battery out of there alright now we want to plug into external power we'll be using the USB that plugs into my computer so now we don't even need a battery to play this bad boy but we're gonna turn it on still got my memory stick in there keep in mind alrighty turned on and let's see what we got here Let's go over to system information, if I can find it. And there we are, 5.00 M33-4. And we are going to upgrade that to dash 6, keep in mind. And here's a very, very important part. Now that we got this plugged in, plug that battery back in. Or get it in there, and remember, you have to hold it in there. And make sure the yellow light's on to indicate charge. Now, what you want to do is you'll go over to go back down there to the uh, OSPBT, run it, and this we're about to we're about to restore the battery to its old state so we can use it on our other PSP. All right, continue here. Okay. We're gonna continue. And now we are going to go down to flash full EEPROM from our backup. It says right errors occurred, but press X to continue. We can quit out of this. La di da di da. It'll bring us back to the XMB. All right now. Put that thing back into your old other PSP to clarify that it's working. Be should be able to turn it on and boot up just fine. And there it is. Alright, so we have our hacked PSP and we have our other hacked PSP. And we're about to upgrade. We're about to upgrade this one to Dash 6 with a very, very simple update. Alright, now we're going to update to the latest, Dash 6, and what you want to do is we'll go in the USB connection. And now we're going to navigate.
navigate into the PSP's directory, which is L on mine. Uh, we'll go under the folder PSP, but then under game. Now we'll open up 500m33 underscore 6 zip, which I, which I will have in the video description. Here we are. And we'll simply drag the update folder into the game folder on our PSP. We'll get out of here. We'll go over to game on the memory stick. And we should have our update. We'll run it. Press X to install. It flashes a few things, it's done. And you can clearly see 5.00 M33 6. And there we go, we got that on there. Ready to destroy.